Hello everyone, today I'm dedicated to the question of what actually happens when Wi-Fi and the network cable are connected at the same time. One thing in advance, we can set the behavior. For example, it is possible to connect the computer to the internet via Wi-Fi and at the same time allow access to the local network. Using the routing table I can also determine which subnet is accessible via which adapter. Details to this video can be found, as always, on my website, libe.net. To simulate the behavior I have prepared a computer with two network cards. The network adapters can be called via view network connections. For the demonstration I use two network cards, one I labeled Wi-Fi, the other one Ethernet cable. As in the article on the website, I simulate the connection with the network cable in the subnet 192.168.0 and a Wi-Fi connection in the subnet 192.168.1. The addresses can also be displayed in the command prompt with the IP protocol configuration command. The routing table can be listed using the root print command. The routes at the beginning of the list are destinations to the internet. In my case two adapters which have a connection to the internet. The call for addresses which are not in the local network is done by the network target 0.0.0.0 to the gateway 192.168.1.2. To determine over which adapter the communication to the internet takes place, I show the status of both network connections. If the routes in the routing table are the same, the route with the smaller metric is used. Here the metric of both adapters is 25, both adapters have the same priority. The reason for this is that two Ethernet adapters were used for the test. To make a call to the internet, I start a continuous ping, test packets to my web server. If we observe the sent and received bytes, we see that the communication takes place via the adapter labeled Wi-Fi. The metric of the Wi-Fi adapter can be changed via the adapter's properties. I navigate to TCP slash IPv4, Properties, Advanced. I change the value from Automatic to 100, which gives the Wi-Fi adapter a lower priority and the Ethernet adapter takes over communication to the Internet. After the test packets are still being sent in the background, the counter for bytes sent and received counts up for the Internet adapter, as expected, the Wi-Fi adapter is not used. If I now change the metric of the adapter to 200, the Wi-Fi adapter takes over the communication to the internet again. The counters of the Wi-Fi adapter show us that it is in use again. Alternatively to adjusting the metric, the routing entries can also be adjusted or deleted. If I use the routing entry for the ethernet adapter as an example. In the command prompt with the root delete command, I also achieve that there is only one way to the internet and the ethernet adapter must deliver the packets. Routes can of course not only be deleted, but added with the command root add. The parameter p would also reactivate the changed routes after a reboot of the PC. More details can be found, as always, on my libe.net page. Thanks, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to this channel for more.